Oh my gosh, I'm totally butterflies over this DIY. Hi everyone and welcome back. Today's DIY is all about butterflies. Even though I was very picky with which butterflies I wanted for this DIY, they only took me a day to fetch. No, I didn't run around like a crazy lady with a butterfly net, but I did however make a run to my local print shop and get these printed. So yep, they are 100% fake and super easy to make. Here are the supplies you'll need to make your own and for the full list of supplies, I'll go ahead and add a link down below. Okay, to begin, start by marking an even rectangle around your butterfly. Use some sharp scissors to cut the rectangle out. So you could totally print these on plain paper and cut each butterfly out neatly, but I found it kind of hard to keep the fine details intact like the antennas, so I opted out for transparent paper for a more realistic look. Since all the areas that should be white showed up clear on the butterflies, I painted the backside of my butterflies white with some acrylic paint. This also made the colors pop a lot more. I did a total of two coats of paint. Next is cutting the glass. I promise cutting glass is a lot easier than it looks. I used some glass from dollar store frames. To begin, I pulled my glass out and aligned my butterfly on top. Then I marked the height of my butterfly with a ruler all the way across the whole piece of glass. Here's the glass cutter I used. Keep in mind, this will not cut through your glass, it will only score your glass to help get a clean break in the glass. This glass cutter also only cost around $4 at almost any craft store. Make sure your glass is on a flat surface, lay your ruler where you've marked the height of your butterfly and with medium to light pressure, give your glass cutter a run along the edge of the ruler. You should hear this sound. Make sure you make only one solid line or else your glass might not get a clean break. Here's what your score line should look like. If you apply too much pressure, your glass will crack and if there's not enough pressure, you won't have a score line to help break your glass. Okay, here's how to break your glass. Make sure you use a table or something with a clean edge. Align the marked line with the edge of the table. Then, while holding down the glass that's on the table, use your other hand to quickly snap the glass that's hanging over at a downwards angle. I prefer to wear gloves while doing this just in case my hand slips so I don't get cut. Goggles also come in handy as well. Okay, next, mark the width of your butterfly and follow the same steps. Score your glass with the glass cutter and break it to size on your table. Once I had two pieces of glass that were the same size, I displayed my butterfly in between. Then I propped it up between two bricks or you can use books and I added a dab of hot glue to all the edges. Make sure your hot glue sticks are clear and not cloudy if you plan to keep the edges unpainted. Your edges will look kind of like raindrops this way. You can also paint the hot glue silver to make it look like you soldered the edges. Following that, I lay it flat and applied a strip of hot glue on all the edges at the top of the glass. Once the glue was set, I flipped it over and did the same to all of the edges on the bottom side. And to finish it off, I added another strip of glue along all the sides of the glass just for added security. And that's it! If you want to display them on your wall, you can hot glue a small chain to the top. Or if you want it to look more invisible, you can do what we did. I got these dots at the craft store and applied them to the back. They're clear adhesive dots. We pulled them off, rolled them up a bit, and applied them to all the edges. This way, they can even hang on the window. That's it for this DIY. I hope you love butterflies and this inspires you to create. Are you happy? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> These would also make super cute Mother's Day gifts and you can even gold leaf the edges for a fancier look. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. Happy crafting everyone, I will see you all next time, bye!